Here we go, guys. Today's the day. We're going to be catching Mewtwo. As I said, though, it's just going to be time-consuming. It's not going to be very difficult because... I brought my Hound Hour with me, and in case you haven't understood the first 100 times, that Mewtwo can't do a damn thing to a Hound Hour, despite it being like level 15, hey, Tiananmen Square much? But uh, enough about that, the last video I mentioned that um, I would probably end up setting up a blog to uh, be, be able to continue talking about stuff even after this LP series is over. So I went ahead and uh, opened my own blog. I'm going to provide a link in the movie description just in case you want to check it out. There's exactly one post on there right now. It's nothing too thrilling, but uh, as time goes on, of course, I will keep adding stuff to the blog because, well, it's a blog. You should all know how it works by now. So, uh, that Mewtwo, under normal circumstances, it would be a battle about, you know, guard swapping around its own amnesia boosts because of faulty AI. Because, yes, of course it has power swap, guard swap, and amnesia to go along with the Psycho Cut, and it will stupidly, every so often, give you its uh, amnesia boosts, then start boosting again, then using guard swap again, so uh, a good way to try and get rid of those amnesia boosts, of course. Well, no, it's not even tempting to use them because, as I said, it's only offensive moves, offensive moves, sorry, is psycho cut, which is physical. So if you want to get rid of those amnesia boosts be uh, before he uses guard swap again, a good strategy is to wait until he passes on those boosts to you then switch. That will get rid of the amnesia boost, so even if it does a guard swap, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not gonna work. Speaking of power swap and guard swap, I remember back when Diamond and Pearl were first released, and there was a huge commotion over those moves, because the way it was understood was that it would be the actual stats that were swapped around, not, uh, not the, the stat boost, for example, as I just said, uh, a Mewtwo can pass on those amnesia boosts using guard swap, which I I guess it's um it's it's so it's sort of cool as a doubles move, you know, to uh, pass on a massive amount of boosts to a to a potential sweeper or whatever. But um, though, yeah, the way it was understood was that it would swap the actual stats instead of just uh, the stat boosts and. Everyone was like, oh my god, this is so broken! Because if you remember, for example, Alakazam gets a guard swap, and people just couldn't imagine an Alakazam without guard swap, because it would get, um, um, well, I, I wouldn't say uh, the, the, the opponent's massive defenses, because uh, you can also be faced with a frail Pokemon, but there's not much that's frailer than, um, than Alakazam, so you could potentially screw over an opponent by stealing his defenses and uh, and and uh, having the opponent ending up with your own really crappy defenses. But it's not how it works. Game Freak, at least, uh, had the courtesy of thinking that far ahead. And <laughs> no, oh, thank God. Yeah, and. You know, it, it's sort of sad that I can't use stuff like, you know, uh, Toxic or Will-O-Wisp or... Uh, I, I can't even use Tyranitar to wall that Mewtwo because of the sand stream, so, you know... Why doesn't it have Magic Guard? No, no, no! Uh, now that I think about it, this is also another one of the things that you don't even joke about. Mewtwo with Magic Guard. Oh, God. Can you imagine that? It's already number three in Ubers behind only Arceus and Kyogre. I think Mewtwo's already good enough without adding any more to the mix. Magic Guard Mewtwo. Oh, oh my god, just just thinking about it, uh, it gives me shivers. Oh crap, misclick! Sorry about that, I thought for some reason that it was Thunderbolt that was in that slot, but it was Ice Beam. Gotta be more careful from now on. It, thank God it doesn't happen too often. I think, um, well, I wouldn't go and guess how many times this happened, but fortunately I only took 
four damage because of that misclick, as well as wasting the PP of Ice Beam for absolutely nothing, but oh hell! I guess we can't win them all. I should consider myself lucky that uh, I did misclick against Red or something. Speaking of which, the Red is one battle that um, is worrying me a bit because uh, I'm predicting that uh, at, uh, at, by the end of this LP I'll be around, you know, the high 60s, maybe 66, 67, 68, and... Um, I think beating Red is doable at such levels, especially with the kind of team I have, but I'm still sort of worried because it's been a long, long, long time since I've fought a battle with such a huge uh, level disadvantage. We're talking about like 15, 20 levels, so yeah, th this is going to be interesting. Um, because this is going to require a lot of items, fortunately. It's almost the last thing I'll be doing in this LP. Not quite the last, because there are a few things that are unlocked by beating Red. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, you guys should really be looking forward to that. It's going to be so much fun watching me suffer against an opponent that uh, is 15, 20 levels above me. So! As soon as the Parasect is dead, we're going to be moving on to Mewtwo, yet another Legendary. I've been, I've been catching a lot of Legendaries uh, this LP. Then again, this is because they crowned a lot of them in there. So, are you ready? Thanks, game! Thank you so very much! I'm trying to build some dramatic tension here, and you throw another wild Parasect at me. See, this is why we can't have nice things. Oh well, at least uh, it's not like it's gonna be that difficult to bring down or anything. It's dead, so I'm just going to save everything, including this part of the video, make sure I don't uh, lose anything. I'll be back. Okay! It's time! We're gonna be fighting Mewtwo! And... I would say it's gonna be easy. It's probably gonna be easy. It's gonna be time-consuming as all hell, because I won't even be statusing it unless I get really lucky or something. But anyway, starting out with the uh, Arrow Blast here, see how much damage it's going to do. And it is going to do... Half damage! Not bad, but um, I, you know what? I'm gonna go with Thunderbolt from here on in, just, you know, in case I get uh, a lucky paralysis or something, this would increase my catch chance by 50%, which, which would be really, really welcome. No paralysis this time, and it uses amnesia. Well, it was only a matter of time. So now I guess this leaves me room for two Thunderbolts. After that, I'll be switching to Hound Hour. Come on, paralysis, paralysis, let's go! No! Okay, last chance, last chance for paralysis. After that, there's not much I'll be able to do. Come on, let's do it! Paralysis, please, kick in! 10% is not a lot, then. Yeah, I figure it's as much. So, it's time to send in, um... Hound Hour, so this is the point where I speed up and play music until it is caught, so I guess enjoy the music!
awesome. It took 14 balls. This is average, maybe slightly better than average given um, the catch rate of uh, the dusk ball. 14 balls, it's okay. I expected it to be a bit longer than that, though, so I can consider myself lucky that um, it honestly did not take that long. Now, the good news is that behind Mewtwo, there's a ladder that leads right back to the entrance. As you can see, Jumping Ledge prevents us from uh, going straight to Mewtwo, straight from the entrance. The, the game designers felt like trolling us a little, just like, you know, in the black and white, in the... the in the, uh, in the ruins in the desert where there's uh, an earthquake TM that you can see on top of one of these ledges and you can uh, and you can see it as soon as you get there the first time but you need uh, but you need to have beaten the game first in order to be able to get it that was you know trolling us really hard instead of stuffing that TM all the way down at the bottom of the ruins where you can't get to uh, get you where you can't get to it until um, until you've beaten the game, they decide to put it in plain sight of, you know, where you can go the first time you're there, and it's like, hey, there's, a, there's an earthquake TM, you want it, you want it, you want it, huh? Well, screw you, can't have it! So, now, now I'm going to be heading back to the Pokemon Center to make some adjustments to my team as well as heal it. Because the next thing I'll be doing is going to be going after Zapdos or the Power Plant. Remember that you need to have beaten Blue in order to be able to go after Zapdos in the first place. And once Zapdos is beaten, well, that's a requirement for getting Lieutenant Surge's phone number. So I'm going to readjust my team a little. I won't be needing that Hound Hour anymore as well as all these HM Slays. Hound Hour didn't do much, but it honestly really served me well. So, I'm going to be switching in Gengar, of course. Um, come on, can I see? The controls for this PC box system are so inconsistent. I just want to see, you know, uh, I just want, you know, um, to see its nature, but, um, it looks like, uh, looks like, uh, the game's gonna, not gonna have any of it. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have a quiet nature here. Boost special attack lowers speed. Okay. Um, all right, I could have just taken a look at, at the top screen and saved myself a lot of trouble. I'm a moron. So join me next time for more legendary catching. <laughs> Once again, I'm an idiot. I'm having a really off day here. Uh, what I meant to do now it was to go and uh, buy some Dusk Balls because I'm going to need some for Zabdos and Moltres. Don't worry, I'm going to be fighting Zabdos at night since it's an outdoors battle. So, let's see. How many do I need? I got 16, so I'm going to buy 24, I guess. That's going to total 40, which hopefully should be enough for Zabdos and Moltres. Now, Zabdos! been my bitch for life so far in this LP series. Two balls, two catches. Will I be able to complete the hat trick next time? Or will it break out of a Pokeball for the first time? Tune in to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Part 119 to find out.